Hey guys, I hope y'all are having a great day today. So we're gonna be doing lip swatches. So I am so excited because I love doing lip swatches on my channel. So Maybelline has come out with five shades of their new Superstay Vinyl Ink Lipstick. So these are the shades that we're gonna be checking out today. So I'm gonna be swatching these on the lips so that we can see, you know, what we think about the shades. And then we're gonna see how pigmented these are and if they're actually budge proof because that's one of the biggest claims on these lipsticks. So I'm gonna jump right into the swatches. We'll check and see if they are budge proof and then I'll give y'all a little bit more information about the lipsticks a little later on. So let's jump right into it so I can tell y'all what I think about these new Maybelline lipsticks. Okay, so I took off my other lip gloss so my lips are nice and bare now. So I'm going to be going from lightest to deep so that hopefully I don't get too much staining on my lips. So I'm going to be starting out with this shade here. So let me show you guys the packaging because I do think it's really nice and cute, nice and sleek. So you're supposed to really shake these up for a few seconds before you apply them. And this first shade that we're going to be checking out is called Lippy. Okay, so this is the shade Lippy. So before I move on to the other shades, I do wanna tell y'all how these feel on the lips so far because they are feeling a bit sticky like already and it's only been like maybe 10 or 15 seconds. So when I initially applied it, it felt like a really soft whipped formula. It felt really comfortable, but they are quickly becoming like sticky, like I can really feel them on my lips. So I'm not crazy about how it feels so far. And let me show you guys how my lips separate when I try to like push them up part and can you see how my lips are like slowly separating that's because it feels like the lipstick hasn't fully set down so before we move on to the other swatches I'm gonna let this sit for another few seconds to see if that changes at all and then we'll, we'll check and see if they're budge proof because I feel like based on how it's feeling on my lips I'm still gonna get some transfer so I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 or 15 seconds okay so the lipstick doesn't feel any worse than it did a few seconds ago but it doesn't feel any better either it just still feels like sticky on the lips so I don't really like how it feels um, I really doubt that this is going to be budge proof so let's test it out so I'm just going to take my thumb and swipe it across I'm going to do it just like they did on their ad <laughs> on their website so let's see if we get any transfer on my lips hmm okay so that's about the amount of transfer that I got and I think that that's like that's not like a whole lot like I'll say even with the amount that came off it does still look quite pigmented on my lips, but there is definitely some transfer there. So as expected, I wouldn't consider this completely budge proof, but we will try the same thing with another shade to see if, you know, maybe this is just like a one-off, I doubt it, but I don't really like the way these feel on the lips so far, but let's move on to the other shade so I can at least show y'all what that looks like up against my, uh, my skin tone. Okay, this next shade is called Witty. So this shade is definitely going to be my favorite. Y'all know how I feel about cool tones. So I really like the way this shade looks on me. Same thing though. This one feels just like the first one, but the shade is really nice. And I do like the applicator too. So let me show you guys a quick, a quick close up of that. I think this applicator makes it really easy to apply the lipstick. So I do like that too, but I'm not crazy about how they feel on the lips, but let's keep going with the other swatches. Next we have the shade Wicked. So this one I feel like I had to swipe a couple more times to get it pigmented but that's often the case with like deeper like reds like this but this one is really pretty too so again this is wicked. Okay we have two more left and the next one is called Unrivaled. Okay, same as the last shade, I felt like I had to put on just a little bit more of it to build it up, but it looks really pretty after I've done that. So again, this one is the shade Unrivaled. And the last shade is called Royal. Okay, I think this one looks a bit more patchy than the others, but that might be because my lips are drying out from doing like all the swatches, but overall it looks really good, but I did have to build this one up the most to get it 
to look like um, even across the lips. But again, this one is the shade Royal. Okay, so this is the shade Wicked that I decided to reapply really just for thumbnail purposes. But my favorite shade out of the bunch is this mauve one. This one is Witty. And I also really like the shade Unrivaled. They're all really pretty shades, but these are definitely my two favorite shades. Now, like I said earlier, there are five shades that are available right now and you can only get these on Amazon. So I will leave a link in my description box if you want to check these out. So it sounds like sometime in April, the other five shades will be become available online and in stores but for right now there's only five of the shades available online on Amazon and they retail for $8.99 on Amazon. Now would I recommend these though? Unfortunately I would not. Now I don't like liquid lipsticks in general so maybe I'm a bit biased but I do feel like these are just too sticky. Now they're not drying at all like my lips don't feel like tight or dry or anything but it just feels like the lipstick is not fully set on my lips. When you first apply it it feels like a really nice soft whipped formula but it just doesn't like fully set down on the lips so I still feel like I can feel like that sticky feeling on my lips and I just don't like it which is why in general I don't wear liquid lipstick so unfortunately I'm not a fan of these and they're definitely not budge proof but let's try one more time with a different shade just to see now this has been sitting on my lips for maybe like five minutes so let's see if we get any better luck with this one Okay, so I will say that this is um, less transfer than I got the first time around, but they're still transfer. So I definitely wouldn't consider them transfer proof. And you can pretty much tell that from the way that they feel on the lips because they just don't fully set down. So, so I do really like the shades of these lipsticks and I did really like the applicator too because I think it made it easy to apply the liquid lipsticks, but unfortunately that's all I like about them. So I don't think I'm gonna bother picking up the other five shades unless you tell me in the comments that you just want to see me swatch them then I'll do that for y'all but formula wise I would not recommend these unfortunately so if you pick these up and you try them out let me know what you think in the comments thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video today if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed before you head out and I will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye